Okay, welcome to all my browsewear people. I'm gonna check out that new avatar. The new avatar, let's see, where do we go? Where do we go? We want new avatar we wanna add. So welcome to my new uh, viewers who are here to see some browsewear tutorials. And this is Olivia. She is the newest, well not the newest, someone has taken her place, but this is Olivia. She's got more realistic body than uh, previous avatars and we are going to go ahead and see who this new avatar is. So we're going to import from cloud. Now there's lots of stuff on this cloud. Uh, let's see here. Who is here? Ah, Gabrielle. I haven't downloaded Gabrielle. Emma and Bella. If you notice, Emma's more of a teen. Bella's a little more mature. And Gabrielle. So, I don't know if she's downloading. Gabrielle. I think I want this to work faster than it is right now. Well, let's check out Gabrielle. But why do I feel like there's a new, newer avatar? Let's check that out again. Oh no. I downloaded her twice. Let's see here. It has to be Gabrielle, right? I kept pressing download. Olivia is the animated avatar and Gabrielle is the new avatar so if you didn't know if you go into file and then import from cloud this is where you have access to all of your uh, yeah I downloaded it three times I kept clicking because there was no notification that I was downloading um, Let's, what is this mesh mesh capade? I never noticed that. These are animated avatars. Let's check it out. Ooh. Perfect for fitting. But can you? Yeah, but can you? It doesn't say whether you're able to size them in your size or not. I guess I'll have to download one. We'll check that out in just a second when we talk about sizing the avatars. So now we have that. We probably have so many Gabrielles and then this girl's name is what? Meshcapade Female Forward. I don't know how that works. Okay.
I think I should have loaded it. But let's check out Gabrielle. She comes in the A pose. Arms down. Same basic poses as Olivia. But she's got a nice looking black girl face. Right? Cute. Not sure how I feel about the hair, but okay. Cooking with gas. So we'll be right back when we're going to work, work out sizing this avatar to be our size measurement. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm cutting to the chase because this video is about Gabrielle. I actually thought Gabrielle was of the fair persuasion. So we'll surprised that she was the new darker toned avatar <laughs> so I got this dress on her I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about uh, fabric this is fabric week for me I've been doing lots of experiments this is one of the fabrics that I made with the fabric generator I go into depth on how to make your own fabrics uh, using fabric generators on my patreon so you can go check that out that's the fashion tech on patreon um so guys i'm gonna add another fabric but then we're gonna talk about colorways we're gonna talk about uh just making changes and tweaks to your fabric we can start with this one i'm just gonna click on this fabric and you'll see over here in my properties which is on the right hand side of the screen you'll see that I have the same texture as the front and the back here is the color overlay and this is where you can like make adjustments to the color but if you have a printed fabric know that it's just gonna uh, affect the colors that are already in the fabric so it's not going to like change the actual fabric color, but it's going to like make it a different tone or a uh, different shade. You pick your choice, which whichever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this gray. But first, let me show you that I have uh, a specular map here, a roughness, roughness map which I brought in when I created the fabric, a normal map, which I brought in when I created the fabric. And I'll show you really quickly. Uh, you can actually see it looks like threads there. I'm gonna go into the, um, the V-Ray render so you can see a little bit better. And it looks like actual embroidery threads on there. So it gives the fabric a little bit of a uh, a depth when you add a normal map that you've made and your fabric can kind of look a little more textured in your render so you can actually see the highs and lows of the fabric okay so let's go into changing this color right now I don't have a displacement map let's see if I can add one do I have uh, this material saved floral tweed no that's an eyeball looks like I got rid of this fabric <laughs> oh maybe I thought I didn't need it anymore so let's go ahead and change the fabric so I can show you how I load in all the maps sometimes I move things around on my computer and I don't know where they are but I do have this raw file saved so that will be okay uh, do, 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 do. where is this can I just follow can I follow like where this is at I think you can uh, but once it is yeah I think once it's the connection is broken I may not be able to get it back so let's just start from scratch because uh, I made this fabric a couple days ago you see it on my Instagram and we're gonna go ahead and add that fabric and uh, like I said, 
this is in my material folder and it is a floral tweed that I made so I have a lot of different layers of fabric um, that I was able to extract from the fabric generator so we're going to go ahead and put some of these into the different places so this would be the base fabric so I can bring in this base fabric and you can see the overlay is there like by default so I have all of these options to put uh, these different types of fabric properties I want to say the face of the fabric properties because I'm not changing the actual fabric properties this is still considered default fabric I haven't changed the type of fabric but I'm going to change the look of the fabric so here now we have the what I call the uh, the main file or the base file of the fabric and I'm going to put that on to the dress now when I add this to one piece Browseware is going to ask me if I want to add it to all of them because that would only make sense that I was changing the fabric. So it go ahead and, and uh, pre-thinks that for you and when you say replace all, you'll see that everything is uh, replaced. So there's our fabric. Okay. So now let's go into the fabric and start to do some editing. So like I said, this overlay, overlay color under color brand, blending in your uh, right hand panel, let's check out this gray color. I can actually make it a little white and you see how it affects the color of the fabric. Maybe I don't want it so white. It's a little red, a little gray, bluer gray, darker gray. Now this is not changing the, the fabric color, but it's overlaying another color on top. So that's why the white gets super white because it's laid over the top. You see that? It kind of looks a little blown out when you do that. So let's go to like a yellow color. Let's see how that fares. Yellow on yellow. And that looks green. <laughs> and that looks not so good. So let's do blue. It changes the tones of your colors as well. So if you're picking a more neutral color, it kind of keeps that color uh, a little bit on the safer side. But if not, it will give me a little bit of an orange look. I hope that I'm... Oh, I like that. Okay. So that's my overlay. So now, uh, once I have the overlay, I can also see, just like in Photoshop, this is a color blending layer. So, I have blending options. I can multiply the color. I can recolor and those are some options that I have so if I'm just overlaying it's only hitting on the um, the darker colors in the pattern and that's where it's taking most of its effect so now specular do I have a specular? specular might be glossy metallic specular so we're going to add the specular map roughness we are going to add our I know I have a roughness rough 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 roughness map normal map displacement I think that's the height map but I'm always getting it confused Okay, before I click on that, let's see what other options we have in advanced. That will tell me. There's a metalness. So the more that you build uh, with your layers of fabric, the heavier your, uh, your actual file will be. Metallic, 
so that's giving me my nice shine that I created on these uh, flowers subsurface I can actually tone it down a bit all the way halfway all the way so you got a few different options to um, show this fabric so this is very pretty however I still feel like this flower is a little bit too big, big. so right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this face of the fabric I'm going to scale it down oh I need to go into the diffuse layer and here under resolution it says 100 percent so I'm going to change that to 75 and that's going to give me a little bit more of a smaller repeat if I want to go ahead and change the uh, fabric texture I can click on there and then I can highlight this and this will allow me to place my and move around where I want this pattern to hit maybe I want the sleeves to have like two flowers on them each little design decisions maybe I want the uh, flower to be in the center here I can also put this in the center definitely not going to be saving on fabric a mistress if I want to I believe I can hit the gizmo and then I can kind of turn this but this will turn the whole fabric so this is actually doing the scaling for me but I don't want to do that let's keep it about right here and if I do this then I can scale the direction which I think I'm doing both at the same time Oh no, so I can put that as a, a, a bias skirt type thing. So right now it's changing the whole fabric, which I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move these back into place. Let's just control Z on that because I don't know what happened with that. But you can get some really dynamic things out of it. All right, so that's putting in all of your maps using your diffuse adding a fabric changing the size of the fabric resolution you can manipulate a lot of things in these different controls so now I'm just changing the resolution of the fabric Let's take a look at it in our V-Ray because we like to see things in V-Ray. And just for the sake of showing you guys, uh, you know, right now the lighting is not what I want it to be to reflect this. Um, let's see here. Have that go your way. So we're going to take a look at that once we render it out with our Blender Render. I love, I love saying that. With the Blender Render. Uh, okay guys, so that's one thing we can do. Now, if I can remember, I think I don't like this blue anymore. So I'm going to take that off and make it gray. Ooh! That's more like it. think this is a default gray now let's look at that in let's see if that picks up a little bit better so no it's not really picking up that's just because of the light but as you can see there is a metallic texture to the fabric that I made okay so if I can remember correctly we're gonna make a colorway Always save your snapshot. Snapshot. 
save the snapshot. Gabrielle. Holy save the snapshot. Make a song out of it. Always save the snapshots. Snapshots, snapshots. Gotta save snapshots. Okay. Save the snapshot. I'm gonna save my file. Before I go messing around, I have some place to go back to, and that's what your snapshots are for. Always save your snapshot. Always save your snapshot. Always save your snapshot. Save your snapshot. When I was growing up, they used to have uh, these little sayings on Saturday morning cartoons that they would play like repeatedly to get the kids to remember certain things. I'm just trying to help y'all to remember to save your snapshots. Okay, colorways. <laughs> I'm doing all that because I'm stalling. Because I don't remember how to do colorway. I don't want to clone it. Ugh, can't remember. It's going to come to me. It's going to come to me. I don't want to import. I don't want to clone. How about go to your colorway uh, window? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. That's not it. I can't remember. Ay caramba. Okay, wait. Plus? No, plus, plus, no. Something's telling me. Uh, clone right so it's going to clone all the fabrics and I'm going to change this, this name I think now I have two colorways right okay so it's just really clone but you want to change your colorway so I can change this colorway name to yellow floral oh, so many times sorry about that uh, and this one's going to be pink floral. And then the last one, I'm going to clone this one. And this one is going to be blue floral. capital F eh, okay so now I'm going to change this one to to be the colorway how do you do that right do you just drag it is it that simple no why would it be simple Darrell <laughs> okay blue floral I'm gonna go to I don't remember how to do it guys so hold on we can go back to the home page I'm on blue floral so I can go ahead and change this replace all now let's see if that changed it in my colorway it sure did so then I want to go back to my colorway window and I'm going to go here, right? Because now it's on pink floral here and I'm going to go back home. I'm going to take the pink floral and I'm going to drop it in. It's going to ask me if I want to replace all and I'm going to say yes. So now I have three different colorways. Refresh so you can see your thumbnails. 
So now I have three different colorways. That's how you change the colorways. So, pink floral. What if I want this to be pink? I can still go ahead and change the overlay color to be a little bit more pink. Right? I can go to the blue floral. And I can actually change this. Uh oh. Refresh. Why is this face fabric? Okay. You saw that. The face fabric was default fabric. I'm not kidding you. Rewind it. Make it a little bit lighter. Okay. And that is how you use your fabric. Change your colorway. Change your color. If I had a solid sleeve, it would work the same way. So when you're in your colorway window, whatever fabric you have here, you can get rid of because I'm not using that. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave it in there because I'm not sure if it's going to delete it from everywhere, thus deleting it from this one here. But you can see the actual change here. So this is different in this part of the, uh, in this file, I want to say, or in this version, um, this option is different. It's still the darker color. So this one I have changed. This one I have changed. This one I have not changed. So there is your dress in three different colorways. What does it mean to you to have three different colorways? When you're rendering, before I open up the window window, so it will ask me somewhere in this lovely window, do I want to do all three colorways? <laughs> if you guys don't know how to set up your render preferences, you should have already done so. You should have a drop down with a whole list of preferences here. So mine are empty. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up so you can see what that looks like. So now you have all your colorways selected. I'm going to go ahead and set up for image. I want the front and the back only. So it's going to render the current image front and the back. So let's see. I don't have to click side because this is my side view. I want to get like a little sexy curve side view here. All right. I'm going to include my avatar, Gabrielle. Hey, girl. I'm going to zoom out a little because the picture will look exactly like it is here. So I have it by uh, 650 by 650. Now, if I want to do 1920 by, I think it's 1080, I don't know, 1086, something like that. No, it will only change it. So this is locked. If you want to unlock that, I can change it to be height 1920. And that's how it will come up. So now, right now, I believe I have it with a transparent background. So I want to get her in there. And that is my current view. All right? We're going to talk about shoes in another video. I will dedicate a whole video to putting shoes on your avatar because the pain is real. The pain is real. Okay. Right? I have this <laughs> at like a thousand render cycles. I'm pretty sure that's too high. But the last time I rendered it, I was very happy. It might have been too high. I have a high graphics card. I have a 3080 graphics card. And this thing renders behind the scenes. 
So we're going to go ahead and see. Uh, I don't want all the views. I don't want multi-pack. Multi-pack is good. But it will give you all of the three in the same file. I don't want that. Let's see if it updates for me. Yeah. So I'm not really... Hey, look at that. It did not... Um, colorway 2 is not looking saved. Let's check that out. Save a file. Go back home. Check out your colorways. Refresh. Go to pink floral. Go to blue. Okay, now I'm going to save again. And I'm going to go back to render. And let's check that out. What had happened? So if I want to do advanced settings. Oh, not advanced settings. Multi-pack with the avatar. There we go. I don't really want to do that. Because then you'll have to like reposition it. You know, it's kind of cute if you want to go ahead and, and spread them out a little bit. Let's see, negative Z. We'll make them. You could do a turntable of those three dresses. Oh, that's a bit much, though. That's a bit much. <laughs> So right now I'm going to do one at a time image with the avatar. Where's my avatar checked? I'm not doing multi-pack. Include avatar. So I can go ahead and change my resolution back. Now this is setting up your, your, your save the render. Once you know that this is your render, then you can set it up. Unlock. And I want to do 1086. I don't, I don't remember if I'm doing that number right. So I keep pressing my Wacom tablet. And then I want to get her in there. And I'm just going to render her on the side. And then I'm going to worry about the front and the back. All right. All three colorways are going to render out. Field of view, I'm not worried about. So you can do a little bit with your camera angles in here. But that is for later. Okay. Save all colorways to the same folder. Transparent background. So we can see if we can put her on a nice background after we render her out. And then we will be right back. So I'm going to save this as tutorial. Why not? Everybody does it. Save. Click. Okay. So now, whenever I come back to render, it's going to be there. And I could check and the settings will just pop right back up into what I want exactly as it is here so once you set that up and you know that that is the way you want to render you are good to go if you make a change you need to resave that anything that you change you will need to resave it because right now it's static at all right so we have a blue wheel we are rendering and there's a little button that pops up up here. Let's see if I can find it. That tells me what is going on. Notifications tells me that these are all done. 
but I see this blue line is still here so all right so she's done let's check that out I don't believe it but we're gonna check it out and let's see what kind of resolution that came in ST all right So I believe that it sent the job, but the job is for surely not done. Unless I am cray cray, which I don't think I am. There is one. No, that's the actual file. So... So this is the thing, like I can never find out. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to wait until they show up in the folder. Because I'm pretty sure that it's doing something in the background. See, rendering. Okay, I'm not crazy. I thought I was crazy again. So these are going to be rendering. See the little blender symbol? These are going to be rendering. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put our image together. In a nice little presentation of color waves. Okay, bye. Okay, so that was about uh, 10 minutes and I got two images out. So I started building a little pretend set. I need to find a higher resolution image, but I'm gonna place my PNG on my Photoshop. And looking good, gal, girl. Girl, looking good, girl. Can I can see? Okay, I'm doing too much. All right? How come it's not scaling? Oh, I cut her foot off. Aww. And she has to stay there. So now all of the ones that are coming to the front will have her foot cut off. Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. We're going to put you down like this. Make you look like you're there. So, let's see, I got one more, and then I'm just going to finish out this video. I'm going to publish it, and then you guys will see on my Instagram the photos with all of the different colorways. And, uh, she's got some here. Could make her look like she's on the podium in the background. Girl, change your perspective, girl. You need to change your perspective, right? Sort of. Nope. So I will compose this a little bit better. Maybe change the background. Uh, and that's it. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.